Hello everybody and welcome to the next of the ranking videos, which is the final one we have for like groups of dinosaurs, which is not of the dinosaurs of course, because we are doing the pterosaurs, and last we did was the aquatics, which may have had some controversies, I'm sure, but maybe today we'll also have some controversies for sure, and we are going to be ranking the top nine of all nine pterosaurs that we have in the game. And I know what you're thinking. It says eight right here. It only shows eight. Well, I'm just going to spoil alert. Number one's Quetzalcoatlus. Why? Because, well, Quetzalcoatlus is one of the best designs we've had in the franchise since Jurassic Park. So because of that, no matter how good these guys or skins are, I love the Quetzalcoatlus too much. So it's going to be number one. And we're going to start with number nine, although we'll just be ranking these dates. So realistically, number one, even though it's not in the game yet, but we know it's going to be, Quetzalcoatlus is number one. Even though, and, and just imagine he has terrible skins. Oh my god, I will, everybody will just be like, and you said he was number one. I'm so going to regret this, aren't I? Don't do it to me, Frontier. Don't prank me by giving Quetzalcoatlus bad skins. Please don't. But we're going to be starting at the bottom of the list, which is the one that was named after a chief's dead daughter, which is the Marodactylus, which... Calm down. Calm down. Sorry, just having to calm my dog down because, you know, people are walking across our lawn and stuff. It's just... It's annoying stuff that you have to deal with. But number at the bottom of the list, number eight, is unfortunately the Marodictylus. I think it's just, while it does have a cool look to it, I think it just has the um, worst design in the game um, at the moment for pterosaurs. And I don't really use it that much. Although I will say, as a positive, he does have some of the best skins for the pterosaurs. For example, the mangrove forest mixed with... Where was it? I think it was... Nope, it was this one, the lithiobates. I like the blue with the little pink hue across his body. This one's a nice one. And let's actually just... Let's show them flying, actually. It's much better to show them. Okay, maybe it's not better because, you know... They're shaking. Okay, that's fine. Just hopefully people are okay with that. Yeah, Marodictylus, unfortunately, while being um, the lowest on the list, still does have some good skins, which, unlike with the Aquatics, were, they're off to a much better start, especially considering how they started in the first game, with just only Pteranodon and it being basically a fishbowl. But moving on to the second lowest one, which is going to be... Unfortunately, this breaks my... Nope, it's not you. It is the Pteranodon. And the reason why is two things. One, while we do have the Jurassic Park 3 skins, which came in a free... One of the free updates, I think it was the first one. There is one skin that is missing for this guy, and I will never forgive them until they give it. And that is the Lost World one. It is one of the most beautiful looks for the Pteranodon I have ever seen. And I know a lot of people can agree with me. I like this JP3 one, even though it's a mutated freak with those teeth that don't make sense because its name means Toothless Wing. But the second reason is, unfortunately, the skins aren't that great, I'm, I'm afraid. And also, the worst thing is, one issue that I've been having in my Jurassic World playthrough, where I've been rebuilding Jurassic World, is every time I make this with the base skin, it has, um... It's not accurate to what we've seen in the movies. You want to know why? Well, apparently this is it. This is actually what they think Jurassic World's Trandons look like, which I don't know about you, but I'm missing a lot of red on that face here. Just want to point that out. And unfortunately, like the patterns don't really do much either. Like, as you can see, it's mainly on the shoulders and like they have little bits like this black for Paparana can go on the top. Although, he does have some okay skins. I like this, um... You know, this one actually looks more Jurassic World-like than the one that I just was on before. But yeah, like, my favorite skins by far for this guy are probably this Limpo River with, um... What's it called? Paparana? Or the, um... Red One Mangrove Forest. Like, these... Paparana is, like, the best pattern, and the skin colors, those two are, like, the best, unfortunately. 
He doesn't just have the great, greatest skins. But moving on to the third lowest on the list is the Ceradactylus, which this guy, he only, the next few ones, guys, I'm just going to say, they're only listed where they are because of the fact that just the other ones are just a little bit better. But Ceradactylus, which, for those who don't know, has actually had its appearance date back all the way to the first novel when it comes to pterosaurs in the franchise. That's right, he even beat Pteranodon, because Pteranodon only made its appearance in the franchise in the Lost World film. This guy was the first pterosaur in the franchise. That's right, yes, this guy. But unfortunately, he just ranks a little too low, even though he does have some nice skins. I do like using this green Gambia River Basin, but he does have some interesting skins. I will say that I wish there was some more vivid skins. They're more earthly. That's probably another thing that ranked him a little lower. But I also like the, um, this one, this little pale boy, the Sonar Desert. Just kind of nice earthy tone that's like, got some color, and the patterns as well, as you can see, aren't really vibrant. This guy's more of a pale, earthy kind, and I would say Lithio Bates is actually the best for this one. That's just my opinion. He's got a beautiful design, just unfortunately, he just ranks a little too low on this. And the next one on the list is going to be the Dimorphodon, which I'm actually surprised that this guy's here. I would say that I could change him because he's a nice size. He's like the smallest one apart from Tapijara, I think. No, Sungariptus, sorry. Sungariptus is actually the smallest. But this guy, while he does have some very bright skins, unfortunately in the game, I think my reason for really disliking him is he is so picky. Like, if you have two, one too many, they just turn so aggressive, and they all just kill everything. Or, if one, if there's too many, they just kill each other, which, I will say, though, he actually does have some great skins. The pattern actually isn't really good, because as you can see, it's little specks on his face and wings. So, realistically, if you want this guy, don't really bother using the skins. And this would be my favorite of him, the Mangrove Forest. I love the blue. Also, another negative, he doesn't have his plumage that was in Jurassic World. I know they're retconning that for not being the case. They did it with Jurassic World Dominion's design, they've done it with Camp Cretaceous, but I will still always remember that plumage, and I really wish we did get that. But, you know, he's still awesome. I love the face on him, although I wouldn't recommend him putting him anywhere near Claire. Otherwise, they might get overdosed with some tranquilizers. But moving on to, I think, the top four, actually. No, this guy is fourth place. Next up is the... No, this is number four. Tappy Jarosaurus, or just Tappy Jara, which... Oh, that was a weird sound. Tappy Jara is, like, one of my favorite of the pterosaurs. I'm pretty sure he was in Walking with Dinosaurs. Wasn't he the one that, um, the... Um, Ornithochirus was actually with. I don't, I don't know. But still, I really do like this guy. He's got some awesome skins, as you can see from that crest, that beautiful purple. And I would say my favorite is this Gambia River Basin. And as you can see, he's got a nice variety, though we still got these two I gotta figure out. I would say my favorite has to be Gambia River Basin and Felioflax for this guy. It just really stands out. I love the blue and then the nice thermal green on top. Just really nice. And a little bit of pink on his wings and stuff. So, nice look for him, I gotta say. But, only downside for him is that he... D of all of them, he just doesn't really do much. He's not actually that aggressive. And also, he's kind of a little overpowered when he does get aggressive. The only time I've really seen him attack is actually with the Geostenbergia, and he always kills that thing, even though that's the biggest one in the game. A little weird, but still. Love the design, love the patterns, just wish he had a little more spirit to him. That's why he's not at the top. Now, speaking of Geostenbergia, the next one on the list is currently the biggest, Geostenbergia, which, remember guys, this is the one that came in the Deluxe DLC, I think, when the game first released. I kind of forgot all about that DLC because, well, I had already pre-ordered the game with it, so who knows. But 
this guy, he's got some awesome colors. If we look at the patterns, I mean, look at that. Like, look at this one. He's got some awesome, like, crest patterns, and it goes on the wings, too. He's, like, the perfect Tyrandon for this. And I love the colors on him. Like, this is probably my favorite, Amazon Rainforest, which, for all my other lists, you know I love me some Amazon Rainforest, apparently. And this one just, I mean, look at it. It screams beautiful. And... It's a nice, it's the biggest one we've got that will be very soon taken away from him, though, by Quetzalcoatlus, which I wonder if we'll get any others, but you know what I'm thinking, actually? How are we even going to get Quetzalcoatlus in an aviary dome? We're going to need a bigger hatchery, like, you can barely fit, like, two of these guys in, but how are you going to fit one that's literally, that literally made Pteranodon look like a tiny bird? Just, just a little thought on my mind, and also I just realized, if you want a Quetzalcoatlus or a group of them, you're gonna need an island-sized aviary dome. Oh my god, that thing is going to be impossible to have in the park if you're not in sandbox. Yeesh. But, yeah, this guy, pretty awesome, cannot wait to use him a lot more, and I'll, well, hopefully I can, and... In second place, which it was a close one between these two, but second place goes to Sungariptus, the smallest in the bunch. And the only reason he loses out is just I like the design on Trophionagus more, which, yes, is number one. I will say he's got some awesome skins. Also, for those who don't know or don't have him, he comes in the um, early Cretaceous DLC. But skin-wise, he is actually really, really good. I would say Amazon Rainforest again, good recommendation. And also Gambia River Basin, Mangrove Forest. These three are like the best for this guy for sure for me. And if we look at the um, crest, as you can see, he's got some nice variety. This is it without a pattern, but here you can see um, changes it up a lot. As you can see, you got some pink blue, you got some green blue. You got a more earthy tone for this one completely, with hints of blue and brown. And then this one, which I would say, for this guy, I would say either Felioflax or Papurana is the best one for this one. And it works actually with all the other ones, as you can see here. It actually works really much better with this one. Yeah, this one's the best. And I love the way this guy looks, and the way it's described as having a crowbar-like mouth as it pries for food. And he's got some... I also love his attack animation on people. He just lifts the leg just barely off the ground before um, before just dropping them on their head. Which, it's only like a foot off the ground, but it somehow kills them. Maybe they break their necks or something? I don't know. But he is really cute and, well, deadly. And I, I love using him. He's probably the one I use most. But... The only one that beat him in this case was the Trophy Nagus. Now, there are two reasons why he beat him. One is because I just I just like the design in general, and two, it reminds me a lot of the um, Ornithochiris from Walking with Dinosaurs. I know a lot of people actually thought this was going to be Ornithochiris until its name was dropped, but it still is an awesome one to have, and probably my favorite to use apart from Sungariptus. And he's got some awesome skins to boot, from Sonar Desert actually being a favorite of mine for some reason, even though it's not the brightest, to probably my most favorite, which is the, not the Gambia, I think it's, nope, where is it? Yeah, Silvbrad, which is, I just like the color in the beak, and if we go on to the patterns, I would say his best for this one would be Lithio Bates. I just like the way that blue sort of mixes with the other colors. I will say though, I wish that the pattern on the on the beak did go on the bottom jaw as well. That's the only downside I would say for him. But yeah, guys, these are it. Also, he's got a lot of space in, spacing in his teeth. It's kind of freaky actually. Maybe that's why I like him. He's got, oh, you can see the shadow moving for like his breath. Well, that's cool actually, but Guys, that is it. That is the ranking of the pterosaurs. And of course, number one is Quetzalcoatlus, as I already said, even though it's not in the game yet. I mean, let's just be real. It's going to be in the game, and it will be probably many people's favorite just because of how big it is. I mean, it's bigger than 
T-Rex and Giga and Autosaurus, Spinosaurus. It's bigger than pretty much every carnivore in the game, honestly. But anyway, guys, this is my ranking, and we're actually going to not pause it. We're going to go on to this, and we're going to have him fly into the air as we end it. And if you've enjoyed this ranking, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to help us reach 3,000 subscribers. We're almost there, about 300 away now. And hopefully we can do more videos in the future like this. Maybe a ranking of top 10 kill animations, top 10 social interactions. I don't know. I want to do those things. But until then, guys, be safe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.